Hello everybody, Ann from Super Stitch again. In this video, I'm gonna talk about one of my most favorite feet. It's the rolled hem foot. It comes with a lot of machine standard, um, but it is optional for pretty much every machine. Any machine can use this foot because it just requires a straight stitch. And this is what you're going to use if you're hemming um, gowns like taffeta, satin, silk, anything like that. Um, or just hemming a napkin for tablecloths or anything like that. But there are definitely some tricks to make this really, really easy to use, and that's what I'm excited to show you. Um, again, we welcome your suggestions for tips and tricks that you'd like to see. Let's go show you what you can do with this one. Let's talk about the rolled hem foot. So this is, um, as you know me, is a D foot. This is a two millimeter. This is the most common foot that comes with the machine. It's also available in a four millimeter and a six millimeter. And we'll show different examples so you can see the difference. But the technique's gonna be the same. So I'm gonna show two different examples. One, I've got a very delicate chiffon. So this is cut off of a dress here. And one is a cotton, let's say you just wanna roll the hem of a napkin. So we're gonna show you a couple tricks here. So we're gonna start with a straight stitch. Now you might, um, if you have a knit, sometimes you might wanna use a small zigzag stitch and you could do that as, as well. Generally, you're gonna use a straight stitch. So on my M7 and some of the machines, you have a sewing applications page. So if I do select rolled hemming, I see that I do have an option for straight stitch, which is gonna be your most common. Your zigzag, you might use if you're having more of a stretchy fabric, it will help eliminate the stretch and then here you do have the four and the six millimeter. So I'm gonna start with a straight stitch and that's gonna be your most common setting. So let's start with an example that you need to hem a gown and whether it's chiffon or taffeta, satin, anything like that. Um, the first thing you want to do is measure the finish length that you want and then you're gonna cut it just about a quarter of an inch longer than what you want the finish length to be. Now what's gonna be important is that at each seam, at the lower cut edge, you need to reinforce that seam. So right at your cut edge, you just wanna do a back stitch. and that's gonna secure your seam. So at every, where, everywhere you have a seam, you need to have secured it with a back stitch. And then what you wanna do is you're gonna trim that seam allowance right up to the stitching. The reason being, when we go to roll this, it needs to roll into this tiny little curve on the bottom of the foot. And if you've got a seam allowance, it's just gonna get stuck. So you've gotta reinforce that seam at every seam and then trim that right up to the stitch line. And then you'll see how easily it's going to roll right over the seam. Okay, so now I'm ready to start rolling. And what I'll do, again, I've, I've reinforced and trimmed away at every seam. And I usually just start like somewhere on the back of the dress. And I'm just gonna start working it back and forth onto the foot. So I just kind of pull it back and forth until you see it starting to roll. Because it's just gonna roll right into the foot. So you'll see it starting to roll. And then I just start stitching. Now it kind of helps. I'll kind of hold it up a little bit and I'll hold my finger in here and that kind of helps it to curl. And you'll see as I get to that seam allowance now, how it just rolls right over that seam allowance. So you see how that's just rolling right into the foot and I'll just let it go. The foot itself is gonna do the job for you. So just let it roll right into the foot. The two millimeter is for your lighter weight fabrics, your chiffons and satins and taffetas and things like that. If you're getting into a heavier fabric, you might consider doing one of the wider feet that I'll demonstrate. So instead of me trying to press under like um, 
I think your directions for your foot show you. I just work it back and forth to get it started. And then as I come full circle, I'll just kind of roll right over it again. Maybe do a little back stitch. And just like that, I've got a beautiful rolled hem. So again, the key is to get rid of the bulk at your seams so it's gonna, the foot will allow you to roll right over the seam. So that was how to do a dress or something when you're coming full circle. But there's another trick. If you're wanting to do, say, a rolled hem on a napkin, where you need to start and sew from end to end. So we're gonna show you another trick for that. And on this one, I'm going to switch to the four millimeter. Sometimes for a napkin or something, you might just want that a little bit wider. So here's the trick on how to start from the very end without having to try to press that under, because I just burn my fingers when I try to do that. So here's your trick. I'm gonna start with just a simple middle zigzag stitch, the default settings. And I wanna roll from here to here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip this over and I'm gonna start about an inch from the end where I wanna start. And I'm just gonna drop a zigzag stitch right over the cut edge. You wanna make sure you're starting with a good clean cut. I'm gonna run that right off the end. I'm gonna bring my needle up and my foot up. Now I'm going to flip it back over end to end. I can trim away my very first thread tail here. And I'm gonna take the thread tail that I've just created. I'm gonna switch back to a straight stitch and I'm gonna pull that thread tail so that it pulls the fabric right into my foot. And you can see how just pulling that right in, that starts my roll right from the very end. I'm gonna roll that right off the end. So you can see how nicely that started my roll right on the end. So now I need to start and sew from this end. So what I'm gonna do is trim away a little bit of that excess bulk right on the corner. And I'll switch to the six millimeter now so you can see the difference in that width as well. When you're working, um, sometimes this trick is a little bit easier with the wider rolled hem feet. So again, I'm gonna switch to the zigzag I'm going to drop a zigzag right on the end. I'm going to raise my needle and raise my foot. I'm going to flip it end over end. Trim away my beginning thread. Grab a hold of my thread tail and I'm going to pull it right into the foot. I'm going to switch to a straight stitch and I'm going to pull that right in. So now I have done my rolled hem on either side, corner to corner. And I can just trim these threads away. So you can see now, here's a two millimeter rolled hem. There's a four millimeter rolled hem. And there's a six millimeter rolled hem. I hope you enjoyed those tricks. Try them at home. And if you don't have these feet, you can purchase them in the links below. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to click on the bell so that you'll get notified when we release new videos.